I commonly use strip head fires. I'll use a combination of these. That's a little bit more advanced. I'll use a backing fire on the top of the ridge or in the direction the wind's blowing and get a big fire break, depending on the amount of fuel, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards. So there's a big black area that if a spark blows in there, there's nothing to burn. And then to speed it up, because backing fires are so slow, Daniel or I or one of our team could grab a drip torch and you know walk 5, 10, 15 yards from that backing fire, set a fire line, let it rush uphill. You can be very creative. You can actually paint the canvas. The land becomes your canvas. And if I've got a big oak tree I want to save, I'm lighting a strip head fire, I'll walk up to that tree and then go back downhill. So it's a backing fire around that one tree, and then maybe 10 yards away from it, it's a head fire going through a bunch of saplings I want to set back. 